Hey guys, since that green pig showed up, have y'all been feeling unusually angry? Super Dave here with another Super Dave review. Super Dave here with another exciting Masterverse review, and today we're going back to Sun Man, where those who have the power of the sun, and this is a villain, yes, Pig Head. <laughs> That's right, we're going to look at Pig Head. They were so original with names back in the Masterverse or Motu. And of course, we know Sun Man has joined the Masterverse and the Motu world or saga, uh, merging them together, which I think is so cool. Wish they would do the same thing with the Thundercats in this line. Wouldn't that be awesome? Anyhow, Sun Man has a villain and his name is Pig Head. Now, just like all villains in Super Dave's universe, all villains end up in Eternia, just like the mutants, and even Sun Man's villain. They have visited Eternia. So we've got a modge podge over here in Eternia back here of villains and some uh, spectators with Sun Man to see who's on the scene. So let's go ahead and look at the box. Look at that awesome book in artwork. Always, they knock it out of the park. Looks phenomenal. And on the back as well. If you'd like to pause and read that bio now, you can. And there are the other three in this wave who have eluded me so far. We just have to be patient. They'll get here eventually. I've not even been able to find them yet. They're sold out on Target, Walmart, Paul's Mart, everywhere. But anyway, we'll find them eventually. We can't wait to review those. But here we have Pig Head. Let's go over here and check him out. And here we are in Eternia where Sun Man has gathered uh, together with some of the other allies, where they're overseeing a meeting getting ready to occur down here in the valley of Eternia with Skeletor and Slyth and some of the other villains to meet, that's right, Pig Head. So let's first look at Pig Head's accessories. Talk about some bright colors. Pig Head's hands, first of all, comes with a balled up fisted hand. He has two weapon holding hands, one's equipped, and then an open palm type hand, which is similar to the back of the box where he's got his hand kind of reaching out so that his serpent slash dragon sidekick can kind of wrap around his arm, and that's one of the accessories as well. Comes with, again, a translucent mace chain, the handle, the mace itself, all translucent. And then he comes with this really cool shield, which it has some scars on it, that bright pinkish purple with a dark bluish color with some actual glittery type metallic paint on the outside of it. Almost an Egyptian style markings on there, or hieroglyphic style looking uh, imagery there. So really cool. This dude could, in my opinion, really use a wash, especially in his skin and even those pink furry uh, boots around the top. I mean, it, they gave a really good wash to the loincloth, which is really cool how they did that. Uh, but I think his green skin could use a little bit of a black wash, even those bones that come out as tusks on his left and right side, two on the left and one on the right pointing down there. Look at that, his cool helmet. Just really cool looking action figure. And it's good to have him to kind of go along with the villains. Skeletor is excited. He's he's not willing to, sh to share the rulership of Eternia, but uh, he needs another minion. We'll just see how Pighead takes that, right? Let's now look at Pighead's articulation. All right, bringing Pighead in a little closer here. Let's take a look at him. First of all, I want you to notice this translucent serpent slash dragon type uh, accessory. Looked up online, no record of him really having a name, but there is some glitter worked in to his body and he is translucent. Unfortunately, there's no wiring in his body, so you can't 
like pose him but you can kind of wrap him around his arm it takes some work to kind of get him just right it's hard it was hard for me to tell what was the top of his head and what was the bottom of his head almost looks like it could go either way but I believe that is the top there because the uh, he's got kind of an overbite there but uh, he's got some teeth you can't really see his eyes in the detail like what is in the uh, the drawing or the artwork but he's still cool he's got those little thin scales on his back going down his spinal area there all the way down to his tail so really neat accessory so I don't know we'll have to give him a name I guess but that's cool all right there we go so one of the things you'll have to notice about this guy is he has these pieces kind of like we've seen with beast man and they're a little bit cumbersome um, they want to when they pop off that bicep like so then they kind of get in the way if you can keep them tight on the bicep and kind of like we did with battle armor he-man kind of almost hook it onto that lip underneath here um, you can pretty much keep it out of the way but it is going to be a little bit of a hindrance but let's go ahead and look at the head sculpt first there again he has this body armor that goes all the way around him which is part of his decor part of his outfit but it's going to uh, hinder a little bit with that helmet but we're still going to be able to look side to side of course but um, that's about all you're going to be able to look up which at least he does look up a little bit he's going to be able to look down a little bit as well he will get head pivot one direction but not the other because it's going to hit that strap unless you remove that that armor strap armor with the spikes which is really cool and you can remove it it has a has a place right here where you can unpeg it and remove that body armor but that head uh, gets pretty decent head motion for a masterverse figure the helmet is non removable um, I don't know what his head looks like under under there I was gonna say it could probably be pried off but if his head don't look well um, you might could modify it you could actually have him hold his helmet because it is just kind of glued on but there's probably an ugly cap type uh, peg part up here in the top I'm not sure but it has like some uh, shimmering type horns coming up from the helmet and then almost an arching over Magetta Magella uh, type almost purple pink coming up above that as you can tell again I think he is bone tusks could use a little wash I'm gonna try that as well as his green skin in my opinion it needs a little bit of a darker look just slightly uh, these these gauntlets I'll just mention this while I'm thinking about it are non removable unless you were to do some kind of manipulation because you can kind of see where it goes into almost like a indention into the sculpt but it is glued on tight <laughs> All right, you are going to be able to get 360. You do have true bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and that gauntlet does not swivel, but of course his hand has a hinge and swivel. All these are horizontal hinged. He does have the ability to crunch forward that much. He's going to be able to bend back a pretty good amount for a Masterverse figure and get some side to side pivoting. So he has a really good, uh, diaphragm joint doesn't get in the way even with the uh, the belt does not get in the way of any of that so that's cool it kind of moves out of the way I love his masterverse motu type belt with that that almost I don't know brick red um, copper brick red shimmering there with the matte black and then the wash on this uh, loincloth almost the scales here man they're phenomenal that looks really good wish they had done that with the bones up here but yeah great great wash on that that's just impressive it looks looks really quality really pops it, it would look so plain if they had not done that so I appreciate that wish they had done that with the gauntlets too right <laughs> something on there but it looks good I mean overall I'm not trying to complain he looks really cool I'm impressed with him I didn't know a lot about Sun Man I really like Sun Man and we'll look at them side by side in comparisons he'll do full splits he will be able to kick up a good amount. He'll be able to kick back just a little bit. Thigh rotation, double jointed knees, which get good range. 
He does have boot cut. He'll go up a good amount, all the way tiptoes. Generous foot rocker with the peg hole in the bottom. So yes, our pig head, half man, half pig, is really phenomenal. I like him. He's cool. He's gonna he's gonna join Skeletor's ranks, just as Sun Man in my Masterverse joins He Man's ranks as an ally. So uh, I think that's cool. You see him there from the back. Even got some detail on that helmet, some scarring, some nicks, even some detail on his back armor there. And that back armor, that armor is, is not removable. It's part of the chest mold. So instead of getting always getting a buck with armor, you know, piled on it like we did in classics, and it worked a lot of times and sometimes it didn't work. But Masterverse is being, I would say, a little smarter about that so they don't look overly bulky. But I think he looks great now let's do some comparisons and sun man comes down and lands with the power of the sun flaming up here and he looks great alongside his nemesis pig head those are alternate accessories that actually came with some marvel legends figures the uh, flames and the uh, flaming fist effects but I just love using him with this Sun Man because he has the power of the sun. He needs to have some flaming action going on. And I added that jewel to his belt. Found it at Hobby Lobby. So that's cool. And he is awesome. I really like Sun Man. I'm hoping to get another one so I can do some more customization to him. And uh, have one that's pretty much as he is with the exception of the jewel. But I also want to do some black wash on this pig head as I mentioned earlier so just looking fabulous cool so I guess since you're half man and half pig you don't eat bacon it's one of my favorite foods <laughs> well Skeletor and pig head look awesome together all these bright colors looking cool really neat that's the San Diego Comic-Con 2-pack Skeletor, Masterverse Skeletor, 40th anniversary version. Hopefully, everyone will be able to get a hold of one of him soon. Hopefully, haven't heard any rumors on that yet for 2023, but we can keep our fingers crossed because I'd love to have another one too just to uh, be able to have some flexibility, use him in different ways, but I really like this guy and I've tried to keep him pretty much as is with his metal, cool metal sword back there and his sheath. But pig head looks good even with Skeletor. And don't ask me why, but I just really thought it would be cool to see him paired alongside Rintara, the Build-A-Figure from Marvel Legends. But you know what? I don't know. He has so much more of a realism to, to him. And in this guy's present form right now, maybe we can do some customization. He just looks mighty cartoonish to me. Uh, but I still think he's cool. And you can still make this work if you like. What is the deal with all the courts? Yes. <laughs> I have a mace too. Munkin and the other mutants from Thundercats look great alongside of Pighead. I think they look great. Look cool. I like this. I say you are rather tall for a pig. And Plundar to get a look at him alongside some classics action here and even a Marvel Legends rabbit girl here <laughs> I think they're awesome together but anyway you can see he looks good with some of the classics figures as well especially this Plundar I like this a rabbit dude and a pig head dude Thank you again for joining us for another Super Dave review. Come back and see us soon as we'll be reviewing the Thunder Tank next, God willing, and looking forward to that. Please like if you've enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you've not done so. It really helps the channel, and I appreciate every one of them, as well as your comments. And we'll see you next time. Be blessed and enjoy some photos in the photo gallery.
Hey, 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 before we push this out to YouTube, just a little bonus video here. It's not perfect, but I did try to give it a little bit of a wash, the mix of some uh, black wash, dry brushing, and just a little bit of brown too, just to give it almost a muddy look. Um, you know, he's a pig. And uh, it may need a little bit of refining and blending out a little bit. I've done it, gone over it several times. But uh, I think it turned out good around the, the pink furry part down here. And I uh, think it, it played out really well on that leatherish, you know, armor around his chest, giving that just a little bit of a black wash. And uh, even his face, I think it looks good. The legs definitely need some work. I may need to do some sanding down before it will really take. But you can get the idea anyway. That's that helps tone down some of that real bright brightness of it. But that gives you, you know, a little bit of a peek into that uh, black wash for our pig head.